Hey, yeah, the sun is out, so I'll come quickly to the park. Because <laughs> um, we're getting lots of rain here in the UK. Um, right, based on my last video where I shared the choice I took in how I socialise, several people have asked me to explain the consequences of that choice. So this video here is going to just quickly explain what I think are the consequences of choosing which mode to socialise. Now in the choice video, the previous video, I explained, you know, how I choose to socialise, fundamentally how I think, how I think, what I say, what I do, so it's quite a big choice. And the choice I sort of formulated for, my pro, for myself was this approval seeker mode, which explained more in the video, but to sort of fast track it's essentially the quickest way to explain it is um, seems to be that it's like uh, it's teacher and student where the teacher's job is to motivate the student and the student's job is to win the approval of the teacher that's it very short very short sharp one but it's so explained more in the choice video and then the other one is to socialize in self-motivate mode and this is primarily to develop myself. It's, it's a very sort of internal one where I socialise to develop myself so that I can better help others. Okay, so it's to develop myself so that I'm in a better place, I'm a stronger place to help others. Because I'm not so useful if I'm in a weak place. So being in a strong place helps me help others. Anyway, those are the two. That was a choice I took in how I socialise. Okay, so if I go back to approval seeker mode, if I socialise in this mode, I've got basically three choices I need to make throughout my life. One is who do I let motivate me? So I have to choose someone to let them motivate me. Two, second choice, is who do I need to win approval? Who do I, yeah, sorry, who do I need to approve? Three is who do I need to motivate or approve? Okay. So these are sort of types of choices I have to make, and they're very much focused on people's who do I choose, who do I choose, who do I choose? And then once I've motivated, once I've chosen, I tend to stick with them for quite a long time. And it's quite destabilizing when I have to change the person. Okay? So that's the consequence of socialising in approval seeking mode. Those are my big decisions. Right. In self-motivate mode, if I'm socialising in self-motivate mode, essentially how it works is, is fundamentally I have to make choices. I make choices about everything. Okay? So the more choices I make, so I might make a, a choice, it might not work for me, so I make another choice to correct it. I make another choice. I make another choice and you basically create a sort of web of choices and it's the process of these choices that I work out who I am, what I stand for, what my motivation is, um, and I'm constantly making choices. I'm going to make some bad choices but I can make other choices to counteract when I get it wrong. But it's always about choices and when I'm in a bad place I make more choices, when I'm in a good place I make less choices. Okay, so basically the consequence of self-motivate mode is I have to get good at making lots of choices, small choices, big choices, not being worried, just, just sort of trusting my instincts and going for it. Whereas this one, I have to make less choices because they last for longer. But of course, I'm very dependent upon, if I get, it, if I get the wrong person, if I choose the wrong person to motivate me, I'm motivated to go places that don't necessarily work for me. And if I choose the wrong person to approve me, they might reject me and I feel really hurt. And these are quite, because they're big choices, the consequences of getting those choices wrong are quite big. So I need to get good at getting that right. Okay, so that's the basic different way in which you make choices, depending on which mode of socialising you've chosen. Now they can, these two can clash. For example, if I'm in self-motivate mode, making choices, making choices, making choices, making choices, it doesn't ever occur to me <laughs> that I need to get anyone to motivate me, 
or to get anybody to approve me. And that means the approval seekers can feel disrespected because I'm not seeking their approval nor am I asking them to motivate me. Okay, at the same time, at the same time, I can, in my um, choice mode, I can feel um, disrespected because they won't listen to me, they won't talk to me, they'll reject me because, um, because it never occurs to me that what I need to do is to tell them which one I want to be with them, i.e. in motivate mode or approval mode. But what I've found is, is that if two, par two people, one in approval seeker mode, one in self-motivate mode, come together, as long as both parties see that they're socialising with a different agenda, it is possible for them to have fun together, just come together and have fun. They just need to suspend this approval mode for them, and these guys to stay in their choice mode but not get upset if they get rejected by these guys. And they just suspend that, suspend that, and just do something together that's fun. Okay? So that's my basic quick video on the sort of consequences of choosing which mode you can socialise in. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.